As you probably know, Dishonored 2 is out in about 10 days on November the 11th, which is pretty great. Definitely looking forward to this particular game. And now we have the minimum and recommended system PC requirements for the game, but we also have some nice information on the advanced settings included, which is always nice. So no ultra specs, but we do have the visual settings that we'll be getting for the game when it comes out in about 10 days. So as always, let's begin with the minimum. We have Windows 7, 8 or 10 for the OS. CPU will need to be an Intel Core i5-2400 or an AMD FX 8320 or better. You need 8 gigs of RAM and graphics card wise you'll need a Nvidia GTX 660 with 2 gigs of VRAM, an AMD Radeon HD 7970 with 3 gigabytes of VRAM or better, and the hard drive space is pretty beefy at 60 gigs. So let's move swiftly on to recommended. The OS is actually 10 recommended for this one. CPU will need to be an Intel Core i7-4770 or an AMD FX8350 or better. 16GB of RAM and you'll need a NVIDIA GTX 1060 with 6 gigs of VRAM or a Radeon RX480 with 8GB of VRAM or better. And again, it's going to be 60 gigs. So we have not only some visual settings as I said, but we have some NVIDIA specifics as well. So we have Adaptive resolution, gamma, window mode, borderless, full screen, V-Sync, texture details, models details, environmental details, anti-aliasing, rat shadows, blood fly shadows, water quality, shadow quality, view distance, video card selection, resolution, monitor selection, and field of view. As for the NVIDIA specific stuff, we have HBO+, TXAA, surround technology, and of course Ansel. So there's quite a leap between the recommended and minimum, as I'm sure you will notice, but it seems like this one be definitely challenging if you want to run it at everything max but given that it's a new release is that really surprising but 1060 while it is of course a fairly new card it is of course one of the lower ends of Nvidia's new line of cards so hopefully this won't present too much of a challenge for you guys but at least you know now not only what the specs you'll need to run the game but of course what settings we're looking at for the game. Personally, I just want the game to be good. That would be great. <laughs> anyway, thank you very much for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.